to the 500 when we get up. Uh, yeah, we'll go to 5. Put it out of here, it'll be nice. Carriages up, check down, and metal at the front. Make sure we'll come forward when we line up. It's on both, fuel pump not required, instruments. Put them in the set. Just make sure the vacuum's good. It's going to be low at the moment while we're low, but it's yep, there. That's in the bottom of the green, which is good for us. Ah, uh, flaps at 20. Awesome switches, we've got the three switches we need. Flaps is at 20 and the rudder will come up when we uh, line up. All right, good to go? I'm happy. So where we're gonna go, we'll take off to the north. We'll go left around over Brooklyn Bridge and around to the landing area is oh, the wrong way. Just in here? Yep. Flaps that mixed up. In the Brooklyn Bridge area for Pirate Show Tango 206 low plane on the slide uh, two miles south Brooklyn Bridge on climb 500 for Pete's Bight, which is two miles west of Brooklyn Bridge. Alright, neutral position all the way back for this one. Oh, oh that's right, sorry. Yep. Still thinking runways. Take off power set. There's the second left to find that sweet spot. Okay. 
half hour away if we're from going to like um, the restaurants and stuff. So we're actually this area here is Pete's Bite, and there's one restaurant right there. Uh, where we were at Gunya Beach, we're about uh, four or five miles away from Cottage Point, and about four or five miles away from Palm Beach, with two of them. So there's two right there. Another one uh, where we were up at Gosford yesterday, we were right next to one. And Barara Waters is up this little river here, but the clouds are right on the hill, so we won't go in there today. That's actually a one way landing. Actually, you can land two ways, but you can only take off one. So again, in this corner here, we've got power lines right up against the. I can box. see the little. Um, you can see a couple of balls. Balls, yeah. So if you hit those power lines, they're probably going to hit the cliff anyway, so they're not, the, not too much of a concern. Yeah, you can see them down there as well. Yeah. But there is one really good one that it's impossible to see. And it's really hard to pick up the uh, poles on it as well. Oh, it's beautiful in here. I love it. That's the ADC, Legion Control Air Station Control Services are terminated and no traffic to Mania Street. So we've got that little island. Yeah. And you've got the gap between the islands. If you go right of that on the shoreline, there's a little ha a little boat shed to the far to the right of that. There's a house up on the cliff. Yep. Just to the right of that, there's a power line. Yeah, I can see the two poles. Yeah. Yep. There's a power line that runs from there across to this headland. So if we're from this headland between or towards the island, we're good. But we don't go west of that line, basically, because you won't actually see the lines. And I get guys to step taxi under it, and you won't see the lines until the last second. So this is our landing area under here. Yep, all looks pretty good. Oh, it's fairly smooth, it's not really glassy though here. But we'll simulate a glassy water. Do you want me to go all the way to the end or? No, it's alright, we can maneuver back around here. So I'll get you to do your pre-landings, but then I'll take over and demo this. And that's the restaurant just down there that we go to. Ah, uh, yep. And the carriage is up. And we got up on the left and the metal out the front. Mixture stays there, fuel's there, fuel pumps off, instruments are all set. We got the three switches we need on. Flaps are there, ready to go. My hatches and harness are secure and the water rudder's up for landing. Alright, cool. I'm going to take over. Handing over. So I'm going to use this little uh, house and jetty on the corner there as my last visual reference. So I want to have the aeroplane set up there basically at the lowest point I can. So I'm going to land for about 100 feet. And it's configured, so 65 knots, flaps 20. So I'm actually going to get us going down a little bit earlier. So 18 inches, flaps of 20. So the key is having the airplane configured at that height before we lose that reference. Gear is up for water landing. So we can afford to get the airplane a little bit slower than we normally would because it's nice and calm. But then if it was a real glassy water day. So coming down to my 100 feet. But I just got to get that power off to get that speed back to 65. So there's my 100 feet. Here's my jetties over on the right. So I want to level off and just hold it at 100 feet. Speed's coming back. So there's 70. So quite a high nose attitude. So flat 20. Oh, so there's my 65. So I'm coming past my last visual reference. I've got 150 feet per minute rate of the set, 65 knots. Look out in front, make sure I've got room, I'm not gonna hit anything. That's all I'm doing. Okay, 65, 100 feet a minute. Quick look outside, I'm not gonna hit anything. 65, 200 feet, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of power just to catch that descent rate, there's 100. Clear out the front, 65, 100 feet a minute. Clear outside, 63, so a little slow. So the speed's basically your, your attitude, and your attitude, rate of descent controlled by your power. So speed
is good, rate of the sense is zero because it's G1000, 150, waiting, 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 not changing anything, I'm just working off the instruments. There's my touchdown, power straight off. Bob's your uncle. And that's what float flight is about. Nice smooth touchdown. It's just good fun. Awesome. So really sit there, we're just doing that flow. Speed, rate of descent, quick look out the front. We're not trying to judge heights, flare, or anything like that. We're just tiny little movements. So if we end up too slow, just lower the nose a little bit. That's gonna increase your rate of descent. You just gonna have to bump up your power yeah. line a bit. Handing over. Taking over. What I'll get you to do is I'll get you to uh, get airborne. We'll do a left hand circuit around up to 300 feet because you'll end up on downwind straight away. Straight away. Yeah. So I'll just get you to do, join upwind and back around and we'll do the same again. Yep. Alright, we got. Coming across, that's it. Up. Up. 20. Makes you can go in and get flat by burn around. So.
about getting that thing stabilised prior to losing your visual reference. Yeah. Uh, and if that's done, then it's only you're going to make tiniest little changes of power and everything else. But the great thing is it's calm, so your changes in power and everything are going to be tiny. Tiny.